Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video and I'm going to discuss today, you know, a little topic that I have in mind. And I've made a, I've gotten a little controversy on a, one of my latest videos that I've made about why you should bulk and you shouldn't cut um, and you shouldn't maintain, especially as a natural who's looking to pack on size. And I'll tell you why, you know, so I'm a former competitor, body, I'm a former bodybuilder competitor. I've done a one, I've done a men's physique show. I've done a classic physique show, and I've done the typical standard, regular, open bodybuilding show. I've done all those shows natural. And I'll tell you something. I will tell you that when you cut down to a body fat percentage to where, as a natural, let's say six, seven, even six, seven percent, I'm not even gonna go down to three, four percent six seven percent something's gonna happen especially if, if you're natural you're gonna have no sex drive your balls aren't gonna work you're not gonna be able to sleep at night you're, you're gonna go mentally insane you're always gonna be hungry mood swings and you're gonna shrink you're gonna shrink like a you're gonna shrink like a feather and you're gonna lose size and you won't even tell that that body fat if you're natural that you look like you even left I'll be honest with you. If you're wearing like a shirt, you know, or a hoodie, you, it won't even look like you left. Yeah, when you take your shirt off, you know, you have nice chiseled abs. You have some good veins and stuff. You look pretty shredded. But your your dick isn't going to be working. You know, and this video goes out specifically for all the men. I can get into another. I can get into another video about you know women's bodybuilding especially if they're natural and they get down to a low body fat 10 15 percent for women let's say which is very extremely stupidly lean you know they're not they're gonna have their mental they're gonna skip their menstrual cycles they're not gonna have their periods delayed periods different stuff a lot of different stuff but this video goes out specifically for men because i've got a lot of men that requested me to make a video about this so i'll tell you my experience for example on all three of my shows, competing as a natural bodybuilder, I hated my life. I hated it. Sometimes to this day, I don't know why I did it. I can, uh, if you would like, I can show you pictures of my blood work after my show. My liver enzymes were more than 10 times out of normal range. Think about that for a second. My A's, T, and A. My AST and LST levels, out of range, completely, over 10 times what they're supposed to be. I gained over 20 pounds. Think about this. 20 pounds of weight within a week, less than a week, like three days. Two, three days, let's put it at that. I felt like shit, and my testosterone went from 610 and if you don't believe me I have proof of this blood work to 280 280 for a 19 year old male who looks good but 280 my testosterone think about that my LSH and TSH levels luteinizing stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone levels were completely messed up because like I said, my balls did not work, you know? And that it comes from the fact that from these stupid natural bodybuilding shows, you have to get shredded, you know, to the point where your horm you're not gonna produce enough normal hormones to function properly, because why? Because yeah, you got no fat on you. At least as an enhanced bodybuilder, you're biohacking your body and you're replacing those hormones with an exogenous source. So your dick will still work. You're still able to sleep at night. And you're able to get to these shredded, mind-blowingly shredded body fat percentage levels. Because you're having another source of hormones that are, you know, for your body. That are giving you the advantage of being mentally stable when you're at that type of body fat, giving you 
the, fa the fact that you're able to get sleep, the fact that you still, not all the time, but you still can have a sex drive when you're enhanced at like that type of body fat. But it's like, you know, when I got off and I talked to these judges, you know, on one of my shows, the best I ever did was second place for a classic physique. And it's like, for one of these shows, I'll tell you that, you know, the judges, are, you know, I got off stage and I understand. And, you know, their whole thing is, their whole, they judge you, their criteria is off of how shredded you are. Oh, really? Off of how shredded a natural competitor is. Keep in mind, as the natural competitor, the more shredded you are, the unhealthier you are, the more you, your muscle atrophies, the more your dick doesn't work, the more your testosterone plummets, the more your hormones are out of whack. And who knows? For some naturals, when they get to that body fat, that could affect the rest of their life. Your body may never be able to rebound from that type of, you know, influx from, from that low percentage of body fat. Luckily, if I, after my shows, it took me months. It took me over a year to finally feel normal. Think about that. Over a year as a natural to finally feel somewhat normal. I don't know if my hormones are permanently altered. I hope not. But like I said, it took me over a year. Think about that for a second. Over a year to feel somewhat normal. Somewhat human. So the main point is, that's why I say natural bodybuilding is so stupid. Because of the judges, if natural bodybuilding was made for, oh, you know, if their whole objective was symmetry and the posing and stuff i would understand that but no it's going to be who comes in more shredded that's why i say it's dangerous i would say natural bodybuilding is more dangerous than enhanced bodybuilding because there's nothing to substitute your hormones with when you're at such a low body fat that's why i say at the end of the day keep bulking you know keep bulking as a natural bodybuilder the only way you can look like you work out I'm being realistic with you right now. The only way you can look like you actually lift and have muscle on is when you're around 15 to 20% body fat. I'm between 15 to 20% body fat. Looks like I lift. When I, what's it called? Got down to 5, 6% body fat. Was I shredded? Yeah, I was. It didn't look like I lifted though. I look like a skinny twig. My strength completely, my strength completely went down. So what does that tell you? That tells you one thing. Don't get to such a unhealthy, low level of body fat and expect something good to come out of it. Especially if you're a natural and you're not getting your hormones replaced. Stay strong, guys. Keep bulking. Keep eating. You know, do what you gotta do to stay big and get strong, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys listen to the reasoning. Let's get it, guys. Nothing's stopping us.